Hey guys, so today I just want to share with you guys a project that I've been trying to finish for a few weeks now and finally um, got it done for the most part. So this is the cover of this shabby chic pink um, and mint green junk journal. I just love, love, love the colors, the way it came out. I think it's so super cute. Um, I almost don't want to part with it. So I put this little dangle here that definitely can be removed and placed on the inside. On the outside, I, on the elastic, I just put some beads and some tool and a cute little ribbon. It's the color and you can see how chunky this chunky junk journal is. And I love the crinkling sound. I just love it. It is an envelope cover. Um, and it does have this organza pink ribbon as its closure and this is very chunky and I honestly think I'm gonna remove a couple of pages I think it would be a lot easier if it had um, lesser pages inside normally I put 10 um, this time I think I put 12 or 13 so and then with all the trims and stuff inside just made it extra extra bulky so I think um, I might remove a few pages. I just haven't decided which ones yet. So um, when I I'm gonna list this in my Etsy, but I am gonna take out two of the pages and send it along with it. So it's up to the person if they want to swap it out, whatever. So here's a pocket here. This is a tuck spot here. It also I left this open so you could slide anything that you want. And it just says Merry Christmas and it has some super cute bling there. And then the next page, and these are all coffee dyed pages. Um, because of how fat they were, I, I gotta adjust this page. I didn't wanna um, adjust it now because I'm afraid I might tear it, so. But yeah, here goes the tuck spot back here. And the Santa is super cute, he's very handsome. Here goes another little tuck spot up here. It's the next page. And all this is open so you can add a whole bunch of memories behind here add some photos here's another little um, tuck spot back here and this page is very torn I really love this page but this could be one of the pages you remove if you choose it has an actual um, ornament here and I put a lot of bling throughout and I put some tags here and there but you will see that there is like a lot of yumminess going on. Here goes the next page and it has a cute little tag. You can also tuck behind this image here. And a lot of journaling spots. And this flips this way so you can definitely journal. And these pages are all torn on the edges as well to give it that really junk journal-y kind of feel. I just love the Santa. I think he's cute. Him and the other Santa. It goes a cute little tag back here. Lots of space to journal. And then another space. And here goes a tag in here. This is a large pocket. And there's another little tag behind. Up there. Hopefully I'm in view. I can't tell if I got the whole thing in view. Here goes another cute little image. I love this bling. It, I don't think the camera does it justice how cute it is. And that just flips out so you can journal. Tag here. Another tag up here. It's really cute. Another image of um, Christmas. So gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. And there's a toily up here. This is a belly band where you can stick anything you like in here. And you can tuck something behind Santa as well. There goes another tuck spot. A little tag. A little tuck spot up here. I mean a little pocket for a tag up here. And here goes another little tag. Oops. And this just pops out so you can do some journaling. So kind of have it holding on there and I just took some of the fabric from the cover made it a little little interest and then this tucks down of course in my junk journals I love to do tuck down tuck up or whatever you call it 
here goes another pocket. And it has a cute little Santa. A cute little, there goes a doily. I think this is one of my favorite pages and it has this cute little, sweet little um, tag here of this organza pocket, which I really love how it came out. Uh, I think you could tuck something there. It's the next page and it has this tag, it fits back here. And there is a pocket here in the front. And also, you have a tuck spot on top as well as in the bottom. And you can add anything that you choose there. Then there's another tuck spot here. And here goes a tag. And this just flips out so you can journal and spot there. And then this is another spot. And I love this cute little dangle candy cane here and this you could tuck something underneath this if you wanted to and here goes another little tuck spot next page and there is a tuck spot here you can add a tag behind this lots of trims and then this flips out so you can journal you know, kind of tucks behind there here goes the next page to that so it's just jam-packed with so much stuff, like it's so full that it has to have some pages, at least in my mind anyway, removed. So here goes the tuck spot on top, as well as in the bottom you can tuck something there. Here goes another tuck spot, which Santa came out, but that's where either you can glue him down and leave him in there, but I left him loose just in case. And here goes another tuck spot up here. And also you can tuck some pictures or some memorabilia, some Christmas tags in there. And then this flips down so you can definitely turn it there. And then this is a pocket tuck spot you can put up there. And I think this is like my favorite pages besides that one this is just another little tuck spot you can tuck whatever you want there up here behind the angels a little tag and that is basically it and the last page is santa and he has a little tuck spot behind him i didn't do nothing on the inside of the cover because i already felt like it was way too fat to begin with so yeah i'm going to be unlisting this i'm going to be working on another junk journal but it's not going to be fat like this i'm gonna try to tone it down and try to use um, traditional christmas colors so let me know what you guys think. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe and also check out my Etsy shop. It's in the upper. If you're looking at it from an iPad, I think, or a laptop on the upper right hand corner, you will see a link that will lead you directly to my shop. So thank you guys for watching again. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and I see you guys in my next video.